Hi everybody, this video is about the new Hornby TTS Class 50 decoder which came out recently. I'm going to show you how I've fitted it to this model, which speaker I've used and also how to change a few settings to get it to run smoothly. The first thing I'm going to mention is that when I first put the decoder in, it was creating a short on my controller. I've had this problem before when fitting lock sound decoders into them. There seems to be some particular Hornby Class 50s which have got a fault on the circuit board and the pin 1 is marked in the wrong place. So if you look closely, pin 1 is where that grey wire goes to, but this is where the orange wire usually goes. So all I've done is turned it round, turned the whole plug round, um, and it works now. So I don't know what the exact problem is, but just if you do have the problem where it's shorting out when you plug it in, it's probably not a fault with the decoder. Just try turning the plug round and it should work, no problem. Everything works as it should now, so the lights and everything are fine. The next thing I've done is change the speaker. So the speaker's now a Megabase speaker. It's one of the Megabase without an enclosure. And the normal Megabase won't fit in. But that sounds really good. What I've done just to get the best out of it is all the little holes in the back which are left once you've taken the enclosure off, I've blocked them up with black tack. You can use blue tack as well, but I just wouldn't recommend using PVA because it might run inside the speaker. But once you've done that it should sound a lot better and it's a good speaker to use because of the size. It fills the space well and it means that you can leave the fan assembly at the other end and you don't have to extend the wires. The next thing I've done is change some settings. Um, if you've got a controller which can change CVs, you'll want to have a look at changing some of these settings. If I just run the model first, you'll see that at slow speeds it's quite jerky. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to go into your controller Go to the CV settings and choose CV150. And you want to change that to 1. And then, whilst I'm in here, I'm also going to go to CV3, which is acceleration. And I'm going to change that to something higher. It's usually on 15. I'm going to go to 60, because I like them to accelerate quite slowly. So if I go back out of that now, and I try driving off again, you'll notice that it's now much smoother, and it's a nice gradual acceleration.